What up, what up, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Jess, welcome back to another NBA 2K14 My Career Game. Today we are going up against the Thunder. Definitely a tough team, you got Westbrook, you got Durant, you got, you know, one of the top two players in your position. So, I know it's going to be tough, you know, I definitely need to come to play today if we're going to have an opportunity to go on ahead and win in this game. Of course, we look to the left, is empty seats. First thing I see is empty seats. Why do we have more empty seats than anybody? I mean, do the other teams have a GS? No. Only we have a GS. I am the reason why all the ladies come to the game. You see every single female here? They're here because of me. They don't like basketball. They're like me. Why didn't they hear? They're not here to see nothing else. They don't they, they don't know nothing about basketball. They don't know nothing about MJ, Will Chamberlain, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. All they know is that they see me. They're like, oh my god, I wanna have his babies, please! Please, let's have unprotected sex so we can have babies! And I'ma show them the range! One time though! Show them the range! You already know we got the not again. Uh oh, hit him with the pump thing. Go to the left behind the back. This right here is the inning station of Puerto Rico. Hit Neo up with a couple little moves. Go underneath the rim. Quick little inside bucket. Bam. Just like how I practice it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a baller now. Because I'm in the NBA. I get thousands upon. Well, actually, my checks, I don't get thousands. I get like 17 VC a week. But with that 17 VC a week, though, I managed to get myself a basketball court in my house. In my house. And I practice my inning station of Puerto Rico, baby. So right here, you know, try to play good defense. Only a couple seconds remaining. And, of course, we got Neil on the right. You know, he ends it off. And, of course, they make it, right? Of course. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? So we go into the second quarter. Down. And we're still not a starter. And I see people in the comment section be making me feel bad. And they do it on purpose. One dude's like, yo, GS, I don't mean to make you feel bad. But I got drafted by the Kings. And right after... The rookie showcase, I got promoted to starter, like, immediately. Like, I didn't, you know, during the interview process, he was just like, sign this crown check, you're starting. I'm like, damn, how you do that? How you do that? And then other people were like, yo, I don't mean to make you feel bad, but I got drafted by the Bulls, and I'm a center, and I averaged 47 minutes a game. And I only played two games my first season. I'm like, damn, how you do that? You know what I'm saying? People, people, they were like, I don't mean to make you feel bad, but whenever I see that, I'm like, y'all just trying to make me feel bad, right? Yeah, show them the range! One time, though. Matter of fact, two time, two time. Show them the range! We got to let them know that we got that long stroke. You know what I'm saying? When they say I ain't trying to make you feel bad, but I know they're trying to make me feel bad. You know, it's all up and down this comment section. Like, yo, I ain't trying to make you... Oh, look at the moves, though! Look at the moves! Oh, my boy, hold on. Y'all know it's coming. Y'all know it's coming. That boy for depth. Got a nice, clean stroke. And right there, we bringing the hands. Somebody, somebody, pull out your bowls. Pull out your bowls. You know what's going inside those bowls? Yams. Yams. We yamming our folks for absolutely no reason. You know what I'm saying? You know we had to get a yam in. You know we had to get a couple yams up in there. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, you know, you're just, I ain't trying to make you feel bad, but I average 99 in every... You know, possible statistic. And I'm like, damn, how you do that? How, how are people becoming starters in three practices? I've been playing, this is like, what, my ninth season? I can't get more than 20 minutes a game, man. I've been sixth man for like 12 different point guards. Like, how many different starting rotations are we going to go through in order for me to finally get a starting position? I don't know what it is. I don't. I can't call it. I don't know. I just know when I'm on that court. I do my job. I give 110%, man. 110%, man. You don't think so? Just just look at the footage. Undeniable, irrefutable footage. Every single game. That I put my heart and soul on the line. On the line. You know what I'm saying? I may not take a bullet for my son. But when I'm on this court, though. When I'm on this court. This court right here. This court right here. When I'm on this court. I take a bullet for Cousins. Nobody else. Just him. Because he's, he's very... He's a big man. He's a very, very, very big man. And uh, he's a big man. He's been taking my fruit cups ever since I started the league. But that don't matter, though. That don't matter, though. I make 17 VC a week. You know what I'm saying? 17 VC a week. So we about to go in the fourth quarter. We're down. They're celebrating. They're like, yeah, we're good. We're coming in sack down. We're going to, you know, go on and slap them silly and go back to to whatever the hell they from. I don't, I, I don't know where in Oklahoma they're from. So, um... Again, we're down, you know, but this time I actually get to start the fourth quarter, so uh, hopefully I can have some type of influence 
this quarter because first, second, and third, obviously, uh, you know, I didn't start and they didn't play too much minutes. So, uh, majority of my minutes came in this quarter, and, and I got to take advantage of that. You know, got to hopefully be able to get the team involved. I was going to assist right there. Got to hopefully be able to uh, get them going. You know, uh, definitely got to try my best to to get the right, you know, person the ball at the right time. Right here, we go to the free throw line. I don't know what's going on with my free throws, man. Every time I shoot, yeah, I hear that noise. It's, it's, it's psychological, man. I hear that noise no matter what it is I do. I just It just reminds me that I can't shoot free throws. Like, no matter what, is what I'm doing. I go to open milk, and I go to flip the top. So, instead of hearing that little, well, open the milk don't sound nothing like that, but you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean? Or that sound. I don't know. I can't. I, I'm not a human beatbox. I can't make a, a milk opener sound. But you guys know what I mean. We open the top. I just, no matter what it is I do, man. That's, I write down on a pencil. I write on Twitter. I'm tweeting. You know, doing every letter of the keyboard of my computer. It's all I hear. Just, I can't. I've been missing so many damn free throws. So, nonetheless, man, I still feel like we have an opportunity to make something happen. Right there, you, you got to show them the range, though. Show them the range. Y'all know how we do, man. We we getting people the ball when they need it, so they go ahead and make moves. Look at this defense, though. Look at that defense, though, man. I'm like, uh, I'm I'm like, like Sasson on a pork chop, man. You know, oh, oh, oh <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. I was almost choked saying Sasson. That's not a, maybe that's not a word that should be said during a live comment. Well, not live comment. Well, technically, I'm live when I'm doing it. Y'all don't hear it live, so maybe this is live. Even though they call it post, but it probably is live. So you think about it. I'm live when I'm doing it, so it should be post. Maybe, maybe it's a live post commentary. Maybe that's what. Anyways, like I was saying, Sasson isn't a word. You might just get choked up saying that word. Anybody don't know the Spanish seasoning? Just Spanish seasoning. Don't don't don't, don't even worry. About it. Don't even Google it. It's just you probably not in the supermarket area. I don't know. I know my mom puts it on everything for no damn reason. No matter what you making. It's got Sasson in it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's that? Tuna fish and Sasson. Oh, oh, this is up. Oh, what kind of cereal is that? Count chocolate. Oh, that looks good. And Sasson. Oh, okay. Just season up your cereal. Do what you got to do, man. So, 84 to 80. Man, a quick story. I, I got I, I to tell people this. Quick story. See, my mother's full-blown Puerto Rican. Her English really isn't that good. And she said something to me that I thought was one of the funniest things I have heard ever. Now, um, we were in Walgreens today. Um... We wanted to put some pictures on a CD. Unfortunately, uh, one of very, very close members of the family had passed away, I think, um, two days ago. So my mother had some photos of her um, on her camera that she took maybe from like two two years ago, whatever, maybe even longer than that. And um, somebody wanted the pictures. So, you know, my mom was like, is there any way I can get these pictures to them? I was like, yeah, you put them on a CD, you know, bada bing, bada boom, we're going ahead and do that. She's like, how would you do that? I don't, I barely speak English. I don't know how the hell to put things on a CD. I don't, I don't know. So I'm like, yeah, you go to Walgreens, I've been doing that for years. That's what you am on some folks. You know, um, you know, I've been doing it for years. You know what I mean? We're just going to go to a quick Walgreens and uh, we'll just put the pictures on, on the CD. You know, I've been trained to do that for years. I got you. So we went to go do that today. And so she's texting the person who's going to receive the compact disc and uh, i know y'all gonna laugh and make fun of my mother and by all means please do because this is absolutely hilarious so and i i cannot make this up i'll put this on my son's life i cannot make this up so she's sending um and i'm like did you text her and let her know because uh either we were going to get print out physical pictures and she was going to come get them or we can give her a seat and email it to her and uh I, was, you know, I told my mom listen tell her we're going to email the pictures Tell her we're going to send her a CD. So she looks right at me as she's texting. She's like, um, <laughs> I can't make this up. She's like, how do you spell CD? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, the letter C and the letter D. And she looked at me like, oh, oh yeah, that would make sense. Like, yeah, the, that's, <laughs> that's how you spell CD. The letter C. And anyways, anyways, as you see, man, the game is tied 99 to 99 right now. Uh, we definitely don't want to make any mistakes. We want to be able to hopefully get a win and you see we're up nine on uh, 101 to 99 definitely feeling good about it but the answering possession for them unfortunately for us as you see they end up putting up the basket 101 101 tie game 20 some odd seconds left right so right now i'm thinking all right we got this we're good so with that much time remaining of course i'm like i got this omaha omaha one two blue one two blue everybody move everybody move so right here you know we're, we're, i want to waste as much time as possible in case if it doesn't work out they don't have enough time to, you know, get a game on a shot or whatever. So, I'm playing it cool. You know, looking like a boss. 
you know, looking at the crowd, trying to see which lady I'm going to take home tonight. Pick a row, you pick our row. And then, of course, we find it in the week. Show them the range. No, show them the range. And we end up hitting the three. And I say we because I'm a part of this team. So, technically, we. We did this together. We, you, I, me, us. We did this together. And we end up winning the game. One of the closest games we've played this year. We actually come away with the victory. I was amped and pumped about it. Woo! I was screaming. I was Rick flaring. I was karate chopping the wall for absolutely no reason. I was just very excited. So we end up coming away with the victory. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next, we're going to jump into a cutscene of me talking with my coach. And just a quick little scuffle that happened at practice. Just a quick little scuffle. You know what I mean? Uh, not too serious, you know. Not too serious. So let's go on ahead of that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby. Yeah, that's right, young Hey, 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 What's guys, up? guys, guys, come What's on. Up? We don't need any of this mess out here. Come on. Hey, calm down. What was that all about? Yo, man, I didn't mean anything by it. We just going hard like we usually do at the end of practice. Well, he's clearly upset about something here. Yeah, I know. I'll talk to him once he cools down. Hey. I'm just trying to go hard and practice like we do in the games, man. Otherwise, it doesn't feel right. All right, that's fine, but we still a team here. We got to stay together. We got a game tonight, all right? You got to be ready. We can't let this little stuff get in the way of the big picture. Yeah, I know. I understand, man. Look, it's all good, all right? Listen, you got to stop the drama. That is your job here. Are we clear about that? Yeah, we're clear, coach. All right, then. Let's get going. Come on. <laughs> 